So, uh, here's what I'm going to say. Hi, it's Aaron Barnhart of the Kansas City Star. It is Tuesday morning, February 1st, 2011, and the blizzard is just commencing, and we have about three inches of snow here on the sidewalk of our midtown house. Now, my wife and I uh, are both from northern states, and the aversion that Kansas Cityans have to uh, shoveling their walks has always struck us as bizarre. Um, but in recent years, we've come to believe that maybe people just have misconceptions uh, about shoveling. So with that in mind, uh, I'm going to uh, turn the camera now on uh, my wife, Diane, and uh, get some tips on how to shovel uh, even in the fiercest of snow conditions. So what kind of shovel are you using? <laughs> this has got to be the most basic instrument around. Uh, this is a very inexpensive plastic shovel. Uh, the problem in Kansas City, I think, is that many people don't get out and start shoveling until a day or two after the snow has stopped. And the real key to shoveling snow is to get out there early and often and do it when the snow is light and can easily be removed by a shovel like this. So the first uh, rule of shoveling is to shovel. Is to do it. This is, this is sidewalk that you shoveled yep. uh, two weeks ago and it, and, and it clears off nicely. And right over here is, ice. is where a couple, we... A couple inches thick ice. We didn't clear it. It formed over ice and now you'll never get that out before yeah. March. Yeah. So the trick is early and often. If you wait too long, that snow is going to get heavier and the task of shoveling it out more daunting. Robert Frost once said that his fire would warm him twice. Once when he cut it down and a second time when he burned it. Uh, clearly Robert Frost never had to shovel an urban city block. Because uh, that's warmed us, well, it's warmed Diane three or four times in the last 24 hours and warmed me a couple of times. So let me show you what we did here. First thing, as you see here, we have an uphill driveway. So it was absolutely crucial for me to get this cleared out. And by doing it in two stages, I was able to get most of the snow out last night and then come back this morning. It was a very easy scrape out and uh, the car's not going to have any trouble getting up that incline. Then, as you can see here, the uh, Diane did a super job clearing out the sidewalk from one end of the block to the other. Sunning themselves dries a bone. Really, once you get out here and start doing it, it's not only not that hard, uh, but uh, I found actually it encourages a lot of neighborliness. Uh -huh. I don't know how you do that. I try. Well, I just, I just, you know, I did. I went we're on kind of wavy line up the street. So you did the whole I, thing? Yeah. Wow, that is great. <laughs> I like the shovel street. I know. You know, it's, I know. It makes such a difference, you know. So you're saying, Barnhart, fat lot of good this does me. I've let it pile up for two days, and people have been walking in it. Not to worry. Remove as much of the snow as you can, then flip the lightweight shovel over, scrape off as much of the compacted snow as you can, and let Mother Nature do the rest. So have fun out there, and if you're worried about overexerting yourself, bring a friend. Share the load. The snow is snowing, the wind is blowing, but I can weather the snow. What do I care how much it may storm? my love to keep me warm.